I'm Teradar, uh, otherwise known as Andrew Lumsden. Being a man, is, it's an interesting thing, and I've been thinking about this a lot in the last couple of years. And I think it's to be that person that you would like other men to be. I think the hardest thing about being a man is, is the attitudes of other men and, and, and the kind of those gender stereotypes of what a, what a man is supposed to do. I think we're having some great conversations about it now, but for I think it's been so hard for so many people for so long to go, you are a man and this is what is expected of you. I think the biggest mistake I've made, and I probably still continue to make it, is that I listen to the opinions of people whose opinions I just shouldn't listen to. It's, it's brought upon a, a lot of angst and depression and questioning of what you do, and really it's pointless. Listen to the voice in your heads that, that says what I'm doing is right, and look to those people who support what you're doing. I, I don't actually believe in life after death. That's why I'm really concerned with my legacy. What will people think of me when I'm gone? If you can lead a life that changes people and, and, and they take away your lessons and your learnings and your beliefs, and they are better people for it, that's life after death. If there was one thing I could change about my life, it would be my procrastination. If I could just deal with things, even email. I tried to deal with my email box, and, and it just I just see these red of all these emails I haven't dealt with, and it does my head in. It's, it's actually a, it's a, mental, it's a mental health issue procrastination and I probably should go and see someone about it. I just haven't got around to it. If there was one thing I'd change, I think it would be religious fundamentalism and, and fanaticism and people who, whose lives are blinkered by these words in a book that people tell them what they mean. Where do these people come from with these attitudes? You know, I don't, I don't get it. We just need to be nicer to people. Just understand that everyone's different and if they're not being a dick, then let people get on with their lives. I had to have a spontaneous health, I got my heavy traffic licences and I went to renew them, but there's nothing like that sense of paranoia when you're sitting in a doctor's and he goes, and of course there's the drug check, and you go, <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I'd had one bad weekend in a couple of years and it just happened to be a reasonably recent weekend to the health check. Uh, but I passed. I don't know, I don't know that you can put your finger on what a Kiwi man is. I know loads and loads of men. Oh, you know, of all of the men I know, I, very few of them I would put into a stereotypical box. They're all different, they're all different. And I think trying to put them in a box is detrimental. Men are men are men, just as women are women are women, you know. Everyone has different skills.